Hey, like I did in ministries here, private chef services delivering kingdom business. What to the what, what, what? Period. To like I did in present lime, lemon, pepper, baked salmon. Yes, and we use salmon from Whole Foods to tea tablespoons, lemon pepper, maggi cubes, Haitian apiece, garlic puree, black pepper, smoked paprika, sriracha, and here are the measurements here to give you this delicious sample we have here of the lime, lemon pepper, sal big salmon. Yes, we are going to show you how we did it. And it's just so delicious. It was so delicious. Now, we get that salmon from Whole Foods. Unwrap that bad boy. And after you unwrap it, you put it in something so you could rinse it out. And it was so beautiful. I was like, oh my God, you're so beautiful and I'm so ready to eat. <laughs> and I was ready to eat. So, um, yes. So, this is the salmon that I got. The piece of fish that I have to do with the lime lemon pepper baked salmon rinse it off first it's kind of greasy <clears throat> so please be sure to rinse it off and after you rinse it off you put it on the cutting board and now you are going to scale remove all the scales from the fish and i will show you guys a technique later on in this video of how i skinned the fish so yes Yes, scale that bad boy because we don't want to eat none of that or none of the children to eat that. Well, we're skinning it anyway, but I choose to remove the scales first. And now this is me doing it. And just keep doing that. See, these are the scales that the salmon had. And we remove that. And after we remove that, we make sure we rinse it off again. I mean, we check it again to see did we remove all the scales. And then after you rinse it, place it back there. And here is the kettle hissing away because I have to put the water in. Now, I immediately drop the hot water on the fish skin. This will give you the best this is the best technique for you so you can take the skin off of the salmon because i know some people don't like the skin and they think it's so hard but no this technique that i found out is really good for the salmon and it doesn't turn your fish mushy so don't be afraid of that and you will see how easy it is so you drain that and after you drain that you rinse it out with cold water please do not burn yourself. Remember, rinse it off with cold water. And then you could skin it. Yes, flap that bad boy there. And then you take the skin off. You see? Yes. For those of you that don't like skin, here is a technique for you from Like I Need Ministries. Please like, share, and comment, and whatever you want to do. Um, yes, so now we have the fish ready to be cut up into pieces. And we will show you the way like how Lily does these things. We will season these bad boys. Now, I already added my garlic puree and my apiece. So after I've added that, I'm going to add the extra apiece, um, extra seasoning that I'll be adding. And this is the lemon pepper that I will be, that the measurement is in the beginning of the video. So this is me putting in the lemon pepper. And after I put in the lemon pepper, we will be putting in smoked paprika. And after we put the smoked paprika, we will be putting black pepper. And after the black pepper, we will be adding a monkey cube. And this is the seasoning that you will do to marinate your salmon. Salmon fillets. Is it fillet? Not really fillets. Salmon pieces. Yes. Now, look at that. After you done 
mixed it very well i mixed the ingredients very well within each other you will see this and make sure you taste it please to make sure the the amount of salt is good in it and the amount of seasoning that you want is good in it because you don't want a bland piece of meat so please be sure to taste it and when you taste it we are not going to Put that bad boy on the stove. And after the stove, you know where we're going to put it? Guess where? Yes, the oven. You guessed it right. <laughs> so this is a two, two cooking method. We're putting it stovetop first. And then after stovetop, we will be baking it on 450. And make sure everything is hot enough so you can see it starting to sizzle under there. Like, as you start to see it sizzle... That means it's hot enough to place them in and continue, continue to place them. Continue to place them in the pan so they'll have their spots to get ready and done. Oh my God, look at all that flavor on there. The flavor will sizzle. Let your flavor sizzle. Let your flavor sizzle. Hey, hey. And y'all gonna see me doing my arm work right here. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> So <laughs> but yes, as you continue to do that, as you um, as you make your salmon and cover it and let that side brown, and then now we'll be doing the glaze, the glaze, the glaze, the glaze. First, we start out with some honey, then we put a little bit of sriracha, cha 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 cha, and then after we put the sriracha. We will be adding black pepper, and then we add black pepper. You have to season everything. I'm sorry. Yes, like I lean in here, we season everything. The sauces, the chicken, everything. Have to have goo, which is flavor. And now the lemon pepper seasoning that we will be putting on that too. And now a parsley flake. Yes, parsley flake it up. Now we will be putting our glaze on the stove. Now the residue of... You know, making the salmon, you use that same residue. Don't clean out the bowl and make sure it's, it don't have, you know, burnt, it's not burnt. So if it's not burnt, just add in your, um, your glaze and season it as, as with the seasoning. And I added a Maggi cube to it because I didn't add it to the measurement. So I added a Maggi cube to it. And with the um, bits, you make your glaze. And this is how your glaze will turn out. And it was so amazingly good. I kid you not. This glaze was so good. And now, here you go. This is your glaze. Put it after you've cooked it. You let your um, salmon rest for a bit on a baking sheet with parchment paper. You put the glaze on top of it. Yes. Before you put it in the oven. And this is how it's going to look after you take it out of the oven. Now, the glaze has coated the whole salmon, and now you could add more glaze when you take it out or what have you. So now this is the result of it. Now it's cool off after a cool out. You've played it and glaze a little more. Yes, yes, yes. Lime, lemon, pepper, baked salmon by yours. Truly, Lakai, Lilin, Delivering Kingdom, Business, what to the what, 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 period, in the name of Jesus, yes we are. So this is the final result of my lime, lemon, pepper, baked salmon. Yes, the ingredients will be in the description box and in the beginning of the video, they were there too. So double for anything you want, yes. This is like High Lily Ministries delivering kingdom business. Oh, look how it falls down. Yes, this is the glazed salmon. Glazed salmon, lime, lemon, pepper, glazed salmon by yours truly. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. And thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Yes, here's your bite. Hey, hey, before you go, here's your bite. Take your bite because you earned it. You watched this video all the way through. Here you go. Now look how juicy it is on the inside of the salmon. It's not burnt or charred. 
please be sure to watch your heat as you cook this salmon. Yes, juicy, juicy, juicy. Can I get a juice, juice? Hey, hey, can I get a juice, juice? Yes, yes. Hey, hey. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. And there it goes. Thank you for watching again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please continue to like, share, and comment, subscribe. Because this is your girl, your girl, like Hailini, making her dreams come true as a culinary artist. Yes, like Hailini Ministries, private chef services, delivering kingdom business. What to the what, what, what? Period. Happy holidays and happy new year. Ham out.